and welcome back to another video this is crypto coins we have a pgv update i released a video yesterday about the bsc usdt contract being paused and no more payouts are being given out by the usdt contract if you haven't watched that video make sure to check that video out now in this video we have an update the new website is up the new pool you can see it here bsc usdc is up I actually really do like this website interface a lot better from the older ones. And in this video, we'll go over the new contract, what I'm doing, and I will read some of your comments. I will go over some of the comments from my previous video. I'm totally unbiased and I'm open to hear everybody's opinion. So I will be reading some of these comments and sharing with you all what people are thinking. So last night I was looking at the contract and I was on their discord checking out all the updates on the BSC USDC contract and it was launched and I was monitoring the contract. If we do go to the website, you go to here to the BSC USDC um, icon, it will take you to the dashboard. The website is up. They did state that they still have some glitches, but they're working on them. And um, I did make a deposit. Now there's some things I'm going to go over about this project. Some pros, there's some cons. I decided based on the activity that I was seeing on the contract, I decided to jump on it. I am not, this is not a sponsored video. This is not, I don't have any affiliation with the team and I haven't even talked to them. This is my unbiased opinion coming from just a regular person like yourself investing in these projects before we get to this contract let's read some comments tritone wrote refunds are being processed you can reinvest your funds into the contract from bsc scan before asking for a refund so you can ask instead of getting refunded to reinvest your funds so someone is stating that that is a possibility in this next comment stable fund upgraded to v2 as well all these projects are just not viable long-term. That's the reality. But yeah, some of them allow you to ROI, most don't. He's making a stable fund comparison. There is a lot of projects that do release multiple versions until they eventually disappear. I agree. Some of these projects do allow you to ROI, but most don't. I agree with that. That is step number one, ROI, so that you're in the clear. And then after that, you're home free. Crypt for Life wrote, Sounds like a rug to me. This was my response. The new site and new contract is up. Not sure about how things are coming along for the old investors. I'm not one of the investors uh, requesting any refunds. I don't know how that's going for anybody that has been involved with the project longer than I have. And I don't know that process. Someone else just wrote like the comment I, I read before that you can request your funds to be transferred over to the USDC contract. So there you have it. Uh, he also wrote stable fund use the same playbook again this is not the first time we see multiple versions of a project therefore anything is really possible i did reply yes it's not the first time migration happens need to also be aware of the contract's flexibility they can change the functions so in this contract there's a few things that I want to point out. There's a lot of flexibility in this contract. It is a trusted team per se. They've been around for a few months, but you never know what happens when the liquidity dries up, what they're capable of. Now that we're in the topic about contracts and flexibility, also they can stop the contract and make changes to the contract just like they've done in the previous projects. It is alarming. They can move the money around. We know this. This is what these bot protocols are capable of. They have that flexibility to put their hands in the cookie jar. Michelle wrote, stop spreading FUD when you don't have any proof of it. Manny, the owner from the project showed already before he is decent and transparent. He refunded everyone last time too. The reason why this project has a strong following is for that same reason. Yes, Manny has shown time and time again to deliver on his word. I agree. Um, I did right here, uh, not spreading FUD, just being aware of all possible outcomes. I will continue to cover it and share all positive or negative updates. 
I am unbiased. At this moment, when I wrote this comment, I was not invested. I did invest afterwards. I will show you my position and talk about why I jumped in here. Marlon wrote here, if it wasn't for the fact that Manny is known for refunding based on previous projects and is the only docs dev in the bot project space and does many updates, I might have thought the same. All these other projects rugged within two months, I believe he's still here. Yes, I agree, Marlon. I agree. But I believe he started uh, PGV in October, so it hasn't been too long either. Stable Fund ran for several months. I believe it was like six months. In comparison, this is still very young. There's still a lot that can happen. We're not in the clear. Regardless, thank you guys for your comments. It helps us all as a whole, as a community, to make better decisions. I released a video yesterday about the new website and contract being up. I saw when the contract went live and immediately had some pretty big deposits. The contract was sitting around between two to $300,000. When I noticed it, I looked back again later, it was around 500,000 and I decided to take a position. If we look at my portfolio tracker, I took a position yesterday for $203. I deposited into the USDC contract and this is my latest position. Right now, I have Baked Beans 2.0, Dollar Beans, and PGV as my new positions. As of now, invested, I have about $955 invested. My portfolio value is $45. Total gain, I'm down $910. Total gain, minus 95%. There is a sunk cost in all these projects. This is why I'm down so much. I've only collected $45 successfully between all these projects as of right now. And we had two rugs that I was invested in. Those were some pretty big losses, $200 there and $194 there. Now, another thing I want to talk about my investments and the things that I'm doing, I have a lot more money than this to invest. And some of you might be thinking, you know, these are rugs. Oh, uh, this guy's a scam. I have no affiliation with these projects. When I do, I will disclose it. I'm investing $200. To me, $200, it's a very small percentage of the amount of money that I actually do have. So $200 risk capital in my book. For some people, it might be a lot of money. I understand if you have $200, I wouldn't be investing more than $20 to $40 in any position because at any moment they can rug. You want to be in the game. You, don't, you want longevity in the game. You want time in the market. You don't want to go all in, go heavy. That's how you get wiped out sooner or later. It just takes one project to take you out. I do want to invest. I will be putting big positions at some point this year when I see the opportunity and I talk to the right team and I feel comfortable. I will be putting big positions. But as of now, I'm just investing $200, $150 here and there. Just want to be clear about what I'm doing here. If you guys want a copy of this spreadsheet, it is free. Join my discord links under the description of this video. In my Discord, I have a channel that is named Free Tools. Click on the channel. It'll give you access to this link where you'll be able to go to File and make a copy for yourself of this sheet for you to be able to use it. It's very simple. There's only six cells here that you need to fill out, and the rest is automated. It reads here, do not touch this section. This section gets automated while you put new information here. Check out my previous videos how this works if you're interested in this portfolio tracker. This is my latest version, 2023. Very simple to follow along. Let's go back to PGV. Another thing I want to talk about this new update. There is no referrals, so there's no incentives. This is good for the contract. There is no referrals. This is good for everyone. That's money that gets taken away and which people can ROI on. That's a plus. Before we talk about my position, I want to scroll up. And I want to go to the disclaimer section. Let's read the disclaimer. And there is some things here that I'm not a big fan of. I know a lot of you maybe don't take the time to read these things, but I'll read it for you guys. So you guys could understand the risk. I'm not spreading FUD. These are things that are publicly said by themselves. You understand that Prosperity Gem Ventures is strictly a DeFi project, not a registered company. This is DeFi. This is why we invest in these projects because of these opportunities. But with that opportunity come risk. 
We under no circumstance make any guarantees of any kind. It's letting you know, hey, if we don't want to give payouts. We're not going to give payouts. Our rewards pool offers from 0.05%. You guys see this? 0.05% up to 2% daily. This means a daily percentages vary and can change from day to day based upon what our gem bots are able to produce. So we're going back on how they produce that yield with bots, which we don't know much about. These are statements from the team. We make no guarantees as to results of earnings or income related to our project. The information provided through our projects or offerings is intended to be for your educational and entertainment purposes only. This sounds like what everybody says and does not constitute an opportunity to get rich. Your use of any information should be based on your own due diligence and determination that is suits the purpose for which you desire to use it. They're just saying here, they're presenting a platform with certain criteria, and you dream about what your wonderlands in any way that you want. We make no representations or guarantees that you will achieve any results or earnings as a result of using our website. Any examples or statements regarding earnings or income made by Prosperity Gem Ventures or its advertisers, sponsors, or affiliates are provided as examples or estimates only of what we think might be possible. You agree that you understand that any estimates or examples provided do not in any way guarantee that you will achieve the same or similar level of results or earnings and that the past results do not reflect the average results. We make no representation regarding average results or earnings related to any information or offering we provide. They're saying here just because we have a great track record and we continue to roll over funds and give refunds doesn't mean they're going to do it again. Just because people ROI'd or made money before doesn't mean they're going to do it again. That's what this is saying. Further, there is no assurance that any examples of past earnings will be duplicated in the future by the same individuals or anyone else, including you. You agree that we are Prosperity Gem Ventures are not responsible for your future results, including any success or failures you experience, whether directly or indirectly related to your use of our projects slash sites. Once again, emphasizing they're not guaranteeing anything and they're not just they're not saying just because they've done certain things in the past, they will do it again. You accept that results vary by individual and are based on a wide variety of factors, which may include, but are not limited to your skill, knowledge, ability, financial situation, amongst other factors, some of which may be beyond your influence or control. You assume all risk related to your use of any information we present and accept that we are not responsible for your actions. And this is a disclaimer from November 30th. They just copy paste and put it up there for the new site. This is a disclaimer from their site. This is not FUD, guys. This is what they're stating. Understand what you're investing in. Let's go back to the USDC dashboard. Minimum to invest 100 USDC. I did invest 203 USDC. Claimable gems. I've already earned about 1%. That's 2 USDC. And I invested about 12 hours ago. So pretty good. It says I can withdraw any time now. Here's to request a refund. And here's a contract address. Let's look at the contract address and see what is happening here. There is approximately almost $2.4 million already. And that's where we stand with the BSC contracts. Now, even though it says you can withdraw any time now, minimum to withdraw is 50 USDC. So it will not work if I try it. Minimum to withdraw is 50 USDT. It's saying USDT, but it's USDC. There's still some glitches here. So why did I put some skin in the game? The devs so far have continued to deliver on the things that they said they're going to do. The project has a decent following and the ability for me to ROI is very likely. Not any moment between any of these transitions and any of these projects, whether it's this one or maybe one that they'll do in three months from now, at any moment they can pull the plug. They have full access of the contract. I understand that. This is why I don't bet the house on these projects. But I did make a deposit as I cover and as I see the day to day activity of the team, they put in a lot of work and I, I see their effort. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about these changes. Let me know if you guys are invested. 
Let me know your experience with the project and I'll be bringing up more updates. If you've made it this far, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. Ring the notification bell for more time sensitive updates just like this one. And I'll catch you on the next one.